So here we are running Unity 5.0 on Ubuntu 11.10. I installed it a couple of hours ago and I've been using it and I haven't seen any problems. So I think it's quite stable for anyone to use it. But of course, since it's uh, still in a staging process, so you should be careful while using it. But let's see what's new here. Uh, one thing that you do need to get the most out of Unity is to install Compass Settings Manager. Uh, once you install it, you will be able to control uh, Unity very well. One thing I didn't like uh, about uh, Launcher or Unity was that auto hide feature because sometimes it, it takes so much time to call it and uh, an impatient user may not want it. So I disable it. So it's always there just like a panel. One thing more that I have done is I have reduced the size of uh, the launcher. So it's only 32 pixels, which is uh, which is as thick as the top bar. So it doesn't take up much space on my uh, 32 inch screen and I can put more icons there. So these are the two settings that I, I do by default. Now, if you look at this experimental uh, tab of Compass settings, settings, that's where all the magic starts. A new thing with the dash or Unity 5.0 is now you can also change the color of dash and launcher. Uh, look at this option here. Uh, you can select the color of your choice. Just make sure that the opacity is there so that you know you see the color. Otherwise, if the, it is low, you won't see any change there. It will be just transparent. So increase it and then turn it on and then you'll see it's it's your color whatever you choose that of course is a bad color so i'll go with something which is a bit darker like black and now that's what i get so that's cool so it's not uh, locked to the current theme you're using if theme colors are not good for dash you can always pick the color another important thing that uh, has happened with this version is that now when you open an app uh, the menus are since I have disabled global menu because I don't like them What happens is when you open a new app the global menu the menus on top are visible for a while So so uh, if there is a new user he will be able to see Where the menus are he won't be struggling to see where the menus Are hiding you can control the auto fade in time from this settings you can increase it and decrease it though i typically i just uh, remove global menu because i have a big screen and you can imagine if i have like uh, and i have actually a dual machine a dual monitor so if i have like two or three uh, or five applications which is my typical typical user scenario it's very hard for me to go up there all the time so i think that's a cool thing <coughs> to be able to uh, uh, disable it another good thing with the uh, unity is uh, when you right click on it you can uh, instead of removing something the option is unlocked from the launcher so that's and the cool uh, change here uh, it will it will make it clear that you are just unlocking this item from the launcher uh, when you look at dash when you right click on it you can you can open application music files and for i don't know why the the, the movies are missing but when you open it all you see is application so it, it's quite easy for someone to, if you just want to open files and folder you can open that if you want to open music you can open that so that's yet another cool uh, customization that is available there and that's pretty much what it is in the new unity it is uh, comparatively faster but i don't use it that much because all my icons are already listed here so i just access them easily i have disabled global menu so that's not a problem either way and it's at the end of the day it's ubuntu which is which works out of the box it's uh, it's stable and it's based on debian so just enjoy it